In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Citrix Receiver app, which is the first step that you're going to need to take if you're going to use the lab from home. It's also probably the most common mistake. People try to use the lab without first installing this app, and it simply won't work that way. Um, so this is a critical first step. Um, to start, you're going to go to citrix.com. That's C-I-T-R-I-X.com. Hit enter, it'll take you to their home page with this finely dressed gentleman walking down the stairs. If you mouse over their downloads tab, you can find their downloads, so select product. The one that we want is the Citrix receiver in parentheses ICA is what we're going to need, so I'm going to click on that. And now you get to tell it what kind of operating system you're using. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click Mac. Obviously, if you're using a PC, you will click Windows. Um, and from there, you just click Find. And this found the download for me, so I'll click on that, and it will take me to the page with the actual download link that's down here in the bottom right-hand corner. So I'll click on that. It'll bring up the user agreement. Yes, I accept. Download now. I'm going to save this just to my downloads folder. Um, so I'll click Save there. It downloads pretty quickly. It's a pretty small file. Um, so for there, I'm just going to open that and it will open the install package. And right now I want to install the Citrix receiver, so I'll double click on that, and I'll get the installer. Uh, so click Continue. This is their software license agreement. Um, I'll click Continue on that as well, because let's be honest, no one actually reads these things. I'll click Agree. Um, this is where I get to tell uh, the install package where to install it, where to save the data, essentially. Um, so I'll just click install. I'm totally okay with it installing on my hard drive. Um, now I have to enter my password. Those of you who don't have a password to make changes on your computer won't have to do that step. Um, and then click install software. Um, it'll take a second to write the files, but that's totally normal. The first time you install it, you'll see this screen uh, where they want you to enter your work email or server address. Uh, you don't need to do that for our purposes, so you can just click cancel and that box will disappear. Um, it says the installation was successful, so that's a positive thing. Um, then you can just close all of these windows. Uh, so in my next video, so at this point we've downloaded and we've installed the Citrix receiver, which is a good first step. Um, in my next video I'm going to show you exactly how to log into and use the virtual lab.